Churchill has been in the game for a while, hasn't he? And we still have not done the challenge on him yet. You know what? We have the MK to do it, if we unlock all these, so let's do it. Because I said I would redo all the heroes, now that I got all MK. So why not? Let's go. Plus two peers, sure. 10% cost reduction, that'd be great. All these would be great for the one tower challenge, to be honest. Legit everything. Maybe not the level 20, because you can't get there, but still. Still helps, we'll get this. This too, sure. And then use our last MK. Spend the entire tree on this guy. And with that, let's go. You know the drill? This guy over here. There we go. And I guess here's a good spot. Nice and centered. Totally centered, by the way. Right in the middle of the screen. Now, we're going to do one thing different, because... I believe Heroes were the first time I tested out this kind of series, slash rules. I'm going to implement rules just to make it more fair, of course. And of course, yes, waste 2500 bucks on, like, villages, so I'm going to do this as well. I'm also going to allow the use of a village up to camo. Yeah, spend 2500 bucks. We'll buy this. That'll put us pretty much close to 2500 so I'll stop there. It's also nice that this starts at level 3. That actually saves us a lot of money from having to buy and all that. In fact, missing all the MK makes you lose out on a lot of benefits. Like, how long do you think you can survive for? Because, again, Cam Churchill is good versus all types of balloons. Moabs, ceramics, anything. I've actually very, very rarely used this guy after release. But basically, uh, Churchill level is way slower than all the other heroes. And when I'm saying slow, I mean... I mean, like, pack mule slow. These hero challenges, I should add, are much more relaxing. Because uh, you can't really sell them, you know? If you sell it, you lose all the levels, of course. So in that case, if you ever get to the point where you have to sell it, then you're kind of screwed. Actually, uh, a quick update on the rules, actually, for the heroes. Because I know the last time I tried Gwendolyn, she died at 45 because she can't pur purpose at all, like... There's not a single upgrade on Gwen that can make her pop purples. Other than like, maybe very very late in, but we obviously couldn't afford it. So what I'm thinking is, allowing uh, the Mib for Gwendolyn, or any other hero, if they need it. I mean, even Oban too. Oban could use some help with pop purples, even though he has the Brambles, but still. Like, I already know that, yes, she'll die to 45 no matter what. Because the only lives out she will leak are purples. I think it'll be more interesting to see uh, that not happen. Doesn't just uh, benefit Gwen, also Striker, the blacks, and Oban, the purples as well. Quincy and Churchill, they don't need any of that. They are strong independent men that don't need no support. Churchill does have some weakness to blacks because their explosion doesn't pop it, so maybe I, I could get a Mib. You know what? You think it's worth it to get a Mib? Or is it better just to, like, pure upgrade, upgrade this guy? I'm kind of leaning towards Mib. Use the ability to pop blacks. Yeah, I know. This basically acts as a Mib, a temporary Mib, but... I'm not going to activate it until, like, I actually need it. Because it's not just good versus blacks. It's good versus, like, Moabs, Srams. We Let's get that Mib. We need it. So never mind, maybe for just for Quincy we don't need it. All the heroes, if you know so far, have like some sort of weakness. They're not just batshit crazy versus every single uh, thing in the game. Making it so that Nijikiwi wants to make you decide between one or the other because one hero should not be able to do everything in the world. It's actually kind of struggling. Versus round 43, kind of surprising. I thought it would take until a lot later. Although, maybe we can upgrade, sure. Level 8 now. Tell you guys, Churchill is going to level real slow. Let's get level 9. 9,000 bucks, nice. Nothing better than buy spending 9k for one tiny upgrade like this. The most efficient way to play the game is, of course, spending money on these heroes upgrades. Totally worth it, trust me. Anyways, there's the ability, which is kind of decent, I guess. And by kind of decent, I was like, understatement of the century. Thought Churchill would be a lot better. Yeah, the thing is, he's just not leveled up high enough. 
that's just how slow he is. Last? Fine. We'll do last. Just for the the Moab. Uh, back to first. We need it shooting down the straight line. Looking pretty okay so far. We got two pretty badly damaged Moabs. And I think we should have this ability up. Okay. Yeah, I believe we're going to have this up for the end of the round. Okay, perfect. We'll use it right now. Okay, if we leak lives here, I'm okay. I don't think we can NLL this either way. Great. Eight lives. It only gets harder from here now that we are still level 9. We are like one round off from this. Okay, yeah, we can definitely do this. Granted, we might lose some more lives. How many? Let's see. Just want to be alive, man. 169, nice. Uh, we're still like, what, $200 off? Eh, we can afford a mid-round, that's fine. Let's use the ability. Uh, this is bad, nope. Let's try again. The only issue is that if we sell the mid, we don't get black popping power. So how about this? I sell the mid, I get this upgrade immediately. And I try to get back the mib as quickly as we can. Although, of course, we're like 2k off. I don't know. Maybe this will work. It's just, you kind of need the mib, though. You know that now now that we don't have mib, we're going to have this. A bunch of zebras and blacks. Although it's back now, let's get it. Let's see how much damage it does. Nice. Just great. Okay, that, that obviously didn't work. Yeah, level 10 is only good versus these mobs. It's just not do anything versus rams. If we can somehow get the shooting like this, but it's just not. I can power it up, but it's not going to make a difference. No. We're dead. We can't do anything, man. <laughs> maybe if I had better uh, Churchill targeting or placements, maybe getting it in a straight line. But for now... Ooh, that's a cheap Quincy. That is one cheap Quincy. 500 bucks. Uh, should we get a village? Do we need it? I'm kind of thinking. Or should we go still straight to upgrade this guy? I'm thinking just upgrading from now. Like, is there ever a time we need the Mib? Like, how much of a difference do you guys think this extra MK and the Logs map will make? Last time we got to 37 on 4 circles. Quincy is slowly starting to struggle though. Uh, there's a lot of Rigos, though. Can we get them, please? Uh, nope. <laughs> Quincy says no. Is, this Quin is Quincy just in a bad spot, or what? Do we need him in, like, a better position? How about this? Last? Put on Overdrive. Just to get rid of every single Rigro, except for one, of course. It's always gotta be one Rigro, isn't it? Back to first. Oh, we're gonna leak. That's fine. This guy is going to regrow back into a zero, I can tell you that. Knowing my luck. Okay, only pink, thankfully. Okay, we have the ability. We need it right now, pronto. Ability's good, but if it's off cooldown, it's... <laughs> Quincy's kind of ass. We need level 9, but we're like 3k shorts. Anti-regrow? Eh, I don't think it's worth it. It might be. I could be wrong. Let's use Quincy now. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna leak this round. Too many balloons for Quincy to handle. Well, that's not good, is it? We're already down to, what, one... 146. And this is only round 34, by the way. Like, we can't be dead this round, can we? Am I sure Quincy got to 37 last time? Because I'm pretty sure he did. And for some reason this time... Oh, I forgot level 9. We just barely got him. Like, I'm not dead, am I? I am. No, never mind. Quincy died to round 34. So maybe with extra MK and this map, we can only survive, like, what? One extra round? I'm sure this round is beatable. We just have to, like, pray for the best. I don't know. We have a lot of lives to spare. Like, a lot of leeway. <laughs> but Quincy is just not very strong. Not even close to strong. Like, please tell me you can survive at least... Like, more than one round, right? Legit? 
Is this even doable? I don't know. We'll try one more time. How about strong? Upgrade and then ability? Yeah. Maybe sacrifice the lives. Say fuck it. Back to first. Let's get it. We'll activate it now, sure. The sooner the better, I guess. Still gonna leave lives though. The explosion is not enough to reach the range of this. Alright. I need better placements. Maybe this is a better placement, I don't know. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Now back to the drawing board, we have to wait another, what, 30 rounds? Let's hope this actually makes a difference, this uh, explosion radius, I don't know. Now better, because I didn't really start this for nothing. Gotta use it now. Like, if I restarted this only to find out that we cannot still get past 35, I'm gonna be real cheesed. It won't, no. I think we're dead either way. I really don't see a way around this. Like, you got any ideas? The explosion just does not have enough pierce either. Nope. Well, that was a waste of 10 minutes.